We all have opinions. We see, hear, smell, taste, touch, and it gives us a perception on something. And then we take that perception, we learn a little bit more about it, and then initial thought becomes more solidified. But sometimes we're wrong. So when is it okay to change your mind on something? Certainly we're told in a consumer driven world that we can't just change our mind and decide something differently. We can't buy some lingerie and then wear it a few times and decide, oh, this is not for me. Or this painting doesn't make me as happy when it's on my wall as it was in the gallery. And we're certainly discouraged from saying, I'm not really sure I want this job. And while those are generally circumstances where we might already be aware of some factors, there are also times where we form an opinion when we're lacking a full picture or when we are dealing with an incomplete understanding of ourselves and how we fit with that thing. You might decide that you're not gonna like a particular food. You know that you don't like crayfish, you know that you don't like crab and seafood's just a bit like seafoody. So you decided you're not gonna like lobster. That might be a case of an incomplete understanding of yourself and your palate, because you've not experienced that before. But if we're talking about experiences that you have had, take, for example, if you love scary movies and you watch them all the time and you're very comfortable with them and you love snuggling on the couch with your sweetie and discussing how the monster or the werewolf or the wizard got things wrong, until one day you meet a scary movie and it hits too close to home. It's about a girl in an apartment building and you're a girl in an apartment building and it just makes you really uncomfortable. That might have originally been based on a, an incomplete perception of the thing being scary movies. This goes back a little bit to the Jahari window, which was in episode one. There are things that we just don't know that we don't know. So again, when is it okay to change your mind? It is nearly always okay to change your mind. It can be a sign of growth, acceptance, honesty, or just having more insights or knowledge about something. How you approach that realization is often probably the more important part. And even though it might make you feel uncomfortable, you and your brain are more than capable of amending a decision. Like when you stand at the edge of a pool and you decide that that's the area that I am going to do my laps in. And then partway through your swimming, some kids jump in and now you almost immediately and subconsciously to make a new route to continue on. You utilize and you harness that power that you already have. In the case of lingerie, you may not get your money back, but you certainly can choose not to wear that piece anymore, especially if it doesn't make you feel good. In the case of consent, you can always change your mind. If you took a job offer, you can renege. If you dyed your hair pink, you can alter it. We can be so focused on sticking to our guns. Yes, change is scary or embarrassing, and sometimes it can make you feel guilty or filled with regret or like you wasted some time. But being true to yourself and accepting what you really feel or think is key to being an authentic you. I had to give myself permission to go on a cruise. I thought I was not a cruise person. 2022 has been a tough year and if you've seen my pushing your physical boundaries video you will already know that I am not strong at the moment. I get super tired very easily, I can't go out and do lots of things, I can only handle socialising in very small doses of human beings and I also need to have a really good balance of nutritious food. But I also wanted to end this year with traveling. I love traveling and I felt like it would really help me sort of reset from the year. But for all of the reasons above, the way I normally travel didn't really seem to align. So enter the cruise. I had this image of cruises in my head being for gorgeous grannies and grampsies. I thought they would be long days stuck in a small cramped cabin while I just waited for us to actually show up at a port and go somewhere that I actually wanted to go to. I had thoughts of dry food and seasickness and stale air and did I say boredom because that was a really high thing up on my mind. 
But here I am, locked into a cruise. Oh, how the turntables have turned their merry turn. Changing your mind or realizing that you're wrong doesn't have to be the dramatic thing that we sometimes make it out to be. Usually it has less of an impact than we think it's going to be and often it is for the better. There are obviously circumstances where this isn't the case though. So if you are concerned or you have concerns, think about what you can do to maybe minimize the impact of the change. Think about what's inspiring you to make the change and what kind of an impact it's going to have on your life. Do the what's the worst that can happen exercise. But then qualify that with the likelihood of each of those worst case scenarios actually occurring. Consider, is there a reason not to change? And five, does keeping the status quo and not changing still keep you happy? Throw some classifications in, give your thoughts some parameters and weight criteria. It may just help if you're struggling with a different choice. Changing your mind every once in a while doesn't make you flaky, unreliable, or any less dedicated or committed. Sometimes it is the most responsible thing that you can do for you. So tell me, what was it that you were thinking about when you saw the thumbnail and you clicked on this video? Is there something that you wanna change your mind on?